Hey, it's Amy with eXp Realty and Floating Homes Portland, and I am so excited to show you this house. I mean, beaming excited. This house, well, let's just take a look at it, and I'll tell you all about it as we go along. A number one super important feature is a concrete float. This is the Cadillac standard of a floating house. We step into this lovely enclosed area. It's great. It's raining in the Pacific Northwest, which it often is. And <laughs> look at that. I actually have another video about this actually on my uh, YouTube page. This is hardy plank siding, so you've got fibrous cement siding. And let's check it out. custom for the owners and it is the first time this house is being offered for sale since it was custom built. We have bamboo tongue and groove floors and there's a powder bath, half bath here on the main floor, but let's go straight to the goods because like this is my favorite room in the house and when we say chef's kitchen, oh we're in chef's kitchen. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous piece of quartz and what's neat about this, this is one solid piece. You would think that there would be a seam right here, but there isn't one solid piece. And this kitchen remodel is very new, by the way. Then as we come around the corner here, you've got a stainless steel custom sink, and this entire top is also stainless steel. So you can wash, chop, disinfect. Fabulous, really, really great uh, quality chef's kitchen. Thermador is the brand of choice here today. We've got a Thermador dishwasher. Thermador gas range with a Zephyr hood. And someday I will own one of these. I really want a Liebherr fridge. This is a Liebherr fridge. I freaking love these refrigerators. And it's not ginormous, because let's face it, people, you don't need a fridge that big. Um, all right, let's pop into the pantry here, because that's exciting. And over here, this is where I want to I want to get to. We've got the hot water on demand system and a newer furnace. And this furnace has coils that go into the water and heat up the water um, furnace system. Okay. You can just let me brush past you. <laughs> All right, living room. Obviously open plan here, living, dining. All of these beautiful built-ins and then we've got a gas fireplace here. This is one of two. Puts out some very nice heat. to the outside. I love this house so much. It's not even, it's not even funny. Okay. Outside here, we have a nice covered area. This is really great when the sun's beating down. You can dock a 28 foot boat here and we are plumbed for natural gas to a barbecue. And just to geek out a little bit more, You can wash your boat with hot water. <laughs> hot water, isn't that cool? And we have this beautiful slate flooring here. And water can just go right in between. I'll list the various specs in the description below. One other thing I'd like to mention about this house is it does come with slip ownership and a one car garage. And in the garage, there's a loft area up above, so there's lots of storage. Let's go check out the upstairs level. Theater lighting. <laughs> now there are three bedrooms upstairs and we'll start with the one they're currently using as an office. This is a bedroom. You've got a vaulted ceiling here with skylight. There's also a, an attic access space for extra storage. This used to be the closet and you could obviously return it to a closet if you want. These people chose to actually do a built-in desk. So I think this is a great use for a third bedroom. All right. Okay. 
bedroom number two. This bedroom is currently being used for a in a couple of different ways. One, there's a Murphy bed here. Great option for guests. And then over here, these are very new, the washer and dryer set that come with the house and the little belt in here. There you go. Now to the bedroom, the primary bedroom. This is the bathroom that serves the bedroom two and three, and there is a shower behind and a linen closet. This is a primary bedroom. One, it's ginormous. Two, it has an incredible view. But let's just start looking at some of the features of this room. Beautiful, peaceful, lovely, and let's go in the closet. Na, 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 na. Look at this closet. Are you kidding me? It's massive. <sighs> closet envy. I have closet envy. <laughs> And I think this is always very tasteful in a house when you've got built-in drawers that way you don't have the dressers sticking out here. Okay, coming this way. <sighs> Jetted soaking tub with a see-through fireplace. And this bathroom remodel is so cool. Vaulted ceilings, not lots of natural light, but check this out, look down here. There's no lip, no glass shower to clean or anything like that. And it slants just a little tiny bit so that all the water goes to the drain. <sighs> it's a great shower. Okay. <laughs> Let's check out outside. They've got this really cool screen system um, that they had custom made. And when this is closed, you can see out, but it blocks the um, it blocks the sunlight a lot, so that you can sleep and not be too warm. This is deck number two. There are three decks because there's one on the roof. And guess where we're going next? We're going to the roof. All right, here is the upstairs rooftop deck, timber tech decking, ginormous hot tub, lots of space to enjoy the views. And I can even see Mount Hood today. Don't know if it's gonna show up on that little vid, but there's lots of space up here to host a big old party. Or to just enjoy the space for yourself. Ah. Back to my get back to my reading here on the deck with my morning cup of coffee. Wait, let's be honest. <laughs> this is really what I'm reading. <laughs> oh, folks, I gotta tell you, this is just one of those houses. Rarely comes up. Mint condition. Like, do absolutely nothing. Pack your bag and move in. It's it's extraordinary. I do thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, let me know if you have any questions regarding this house. Thanks.